What is happening, y'all? This is Alexander with Guns.com, but today you can call me X to the Z because you can come and pimp this gun with me. We're going to go over the kel Sub 2000 and check out some of the popular attachments to make this all the better. The kel Sub-2000 is a pistol caliber carbine that folds up into a nice and compact package. Something you can easily throw into a backpack, uh, a go bag, maybe something you want to leave in your truck, whatever it is, um, easily stored. And like I said, it's pistol caliber, so your inexpensive training ammunition, low recoil. And my favorite thing about this is the backwards compatibility uh, between magazines. Um, this particular one is the Glock 17 pattern, so it's a 9mm. And uh, I carry a Glock 45 for uh, duty work when I'm contracting. So I'm a big fan of being able to have that interchangeability between my sidearm and my primary. Outside of that, the design is easily customizable. You've got lots of rail space, you've got some M-lock space, you've got a threaded barrel um, and some sling mounts. There's so many things that we can do with this. The design came out in 2001. Uh, it's been one of the best sellers, I believe, for Caltech. Uh, there's even companies now that are mimicking the uh, design. Caltech was very generous and donated a bunch of these to uh, the Ukrainian armed forces to aid in their fight against the Russian invasion. Um, so there's a lot of kind of interesting history and facts behind this, but it just feels a little, I don't know, plain. And I feel like we can make this better. So let's make it better. And it's so much better. So let's go over some of these accessories. This is something kind of set up in the way that I would like to have a duty or a, a home defense firearm set up. So let's dig into it. Starting here at the tip, we'll go tip to butt. Um, I think that anybody who is shot suppressed never wants to not shoot suppressed again. I'm a big fan of Silencer Co. They've been really good to me and uh, I've gotten nothing but great results out of their cans and their suppressors. This one here is the Silencer Co. Omega 9K. It's a little bit of a shorter suppressor, but I like that because I can still fold the gun up and it's, it's not too long, throw it in a bag, backpack, whatever it may be. The other thing is it's a quick detach suppressor. I've got this on a tri-lug mount. So all I have to do is give this a little bit of a push to the rear, a light rotate, it slides right off, um, makes it easy to transition from whatever I'm doing. If I want to do something quiet, you know, you can go from outside voice to inside voice in like two seconds. Everybody should have a suppressor. It's the polite way to go shooting. Moving on to the next thing, uh, there's basically two non-negotiables for attachments on anything that's going to be a go-to or a duty firearm, bug out, whatever it is. And uh, the first one of those things is a weapon light. I think that even, even if it's your carry gun, being able to identify your target in low light situations is so important. Um, there's a lot of great weapon light companies out there, Streamlight, Surefire, Modlight. This particular one is a Cloud Defensive Rain 3.0. Um, awesome uh, light here, weapon light, and it's got great lumens. What I like about cloud defenses is the candela, so I can really reach out and see at distance or kind of spotlight at distance a little bit more intensity the further out it goes as opposed to some of the other options. Um, something that is a little bit underrated, not talked about a lot when it comes to weapon lights. You've got the ability to have a permanent switch, you just have to click it, it'll come on uh, and stay on, or you can run your thumb. I've got this set up for when I run that C-clamp. My thumb just perfectly sits right here on the pressure pad, so I can just click that whenever I'm looking at uh, identifying what I'm going to shoot at. On to the next thing. I like to prop my support hand up against something when I am doing that C-clamp and having a vertical foregrip is ideal for me. My favorite verti vertical foregrip out there is this BCM Gunfighter. It's angled a little bit, almost like a pistol grip on the back of the firearm. Um, and I actually inverted this to go the wrong way. Um, I like 
the way that the angle is when I've got my support hand out there. It's almost like a Hungarian AMD 65 kind of thing. Um, and my thumb fits perfectly on that pressure pad, but easy to control recoil uh, and get those follow-up shots. The other thing that is a non-negotiable for a rifle is a sling and, and a way to mount that sling. Um, I really want to see companies do a better job in the future of including QD and standard sling attachments so that the gun kind of sits in a comfortable and easily accessible way. Making sure that this stays in your possession, you're not setting it down, you're not losing it. Having a sling is so important for anything that you're gonna trust your life with. So I've got a Magpul sling on here. It's got the QD up here at the front with a Magpul rail QD mount adapter. And in the back, I've just got that clip um, and it's snagged up against the uh, sling. I don't know if that's really a sling loop back here, but it looked like a sling loop, so I threw it on there. Um, kind of fit perfectly. After the light and the sling, the next thing that I think is important and everybody loves to do is throw on an optic. Red dots, they just speed up accuracy, target acquisition, follow-up shots so much. Big fan of having the ability to, to just go fast, pick it up, fire. The one tricky thing is, is this firearm does fold. And so if I go to fold it, uh, unfortunately, that light is, or that uh, optic is going to get in the way. So, M Carbo made this mount. It's great. You kind of push this button, and that optic just goes to the side. It's the Military Carbine Brotherhood. Um, so, specifically for the Sub 2000, the plate just mounts into the side of the gun, and I can flip that to the side, and now she folds all the way up the way that it was kind of intended to go. On top of that mount, I've got a hollow sun. I've, I've had great experience with hollow suns. They're inexpensive. I think they hold up to a very good amount of abuse, especially for something that's gonna be used domestically. Um, the battery life on these is awesome. I think this one is about 50,000 hours. Uh, you've got all kinds of intensity settings, but for the price, Love the Hollow Sun. This particular one is a 403R. All these things put together make this a great go-to kind of firearm that you can set up against your bed. You've got that bump in the night. You're able to identify things. You're not going to blow out your ears. Um, you're able to quickly pick up target uh, acquisition with a red dot. And you can control recoil with that foregrip and maintain position or possession with the sling. All important things and great attachments to throw on, not just the kel Sub-2000, but anything that you're going to do any serious work with. I love kind of going over the importance of adding well thought out things to the gun, not just throwing crap on here to throw crap on here to look cool, but everything has a functional and an important role to play in making you a responsible and well-equipped gun owner. The kel Sub-2000 is an interesting kind of 9mm PCC. It's really great that you can fold it up in such a compact package. Maybe throw it in a backpack while you're going backpacking, camping, something you can keep in the car, a go bag, whatever the case may be. There's a lot of really great attachments out there from other great companies. We love kel -Tec. got a great relationship with them. If there's anything on their website that catches your fancy, there'll be a link that'll redirect you back over to guns.com. We do have a lot of used guns here, but we also have a lot of new firearms, so be sure to check those out. And also check out that accessories tab. Maybe there's some things here that you'd like to add to something in your collection. As always, we're trying to be your one-stop shop for all your firearms needs. Thank you guys again. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Mm -hmm.